Hey everyone. Hey everyone. So uh, today I'm doing a bisque fire of some of my pottery. Um, so I'm getting the kiln loaded up. It's kind of cool out, so I was trying to warm up the kiln a little bit because it sits outside. Um, so I've got my kiln running here a little bit. My weed burner is what I use. And I just put some pottery down on the bottom layer there. Um, but I'm about to stack up the next layer. I'm hoping I can get everything in here. I've got some coffee mugs and some bowls I need to get in there. So put my camera down and load it up. Hopefully y'all can see it okay. These are the coffee mugs that I made for a Mojo Coffee and Wallace. And so I'm hoping that they survive this first step of firing. Alright, so I've got this all loaded up here. Need to get my pyrometer, get that plugged in, then I'm gonna put the lid on. I'm also gonna put another kiln shelf on top of here just to kind of hold the heat in once the lid's on. So it kind of makes a little barrier, I guess. What would you call it? A baffle? All right, so this is a pyrometer. I'm gonna put that in and it measures the temperature in the kiln. So right now outside it's about 62 degrees and see what it is in the kiln. So you can see So I'm just gonna let it sit here for a while and just kind of warm up slowly. And uh, the temperature, I wanna get to cone um, 04 for a bisque fire with this clay. So that's um, 1940 degrees. So it's gonna take about four hours, four or five hours to get there. in the afternoon. Um, started the kiln about 9 o'clock, 8.30. Been kind of doing it slow today, but um, right now we're at 17... 17.17 and things are heating up. Those of you that might be potters that are thinking about doing this, um, something I found that helps with the gas is I just use like a regular, um, you might have noticed I'm using a weed burner and just my propane grill tank, um, but I put it in a big container 
with some water down in the bottom. And that just keeps the tank from freezing up and losing pressure. So this is something you could, a uh, little trick I figured out or learned from somewhere. Anyway, it seems to work. Uh, anyway, so probably be another 45 minutes and it should be up to temperature. Hopefully. All right, so come back to you later. All right, last check in here. Uh, kind of got ahead of myself before I started videotaping, but got the kiln up to um, 1945. Actually, a little bit more than that. And now it's down around 1800. Um, I got it sealed up. I just kind of put a brick in front of the hole there and have the top sealed up. So, I'm going to let it cool overnight slowly. <clears throat> and tomorrow morning, I'll be able to empty it out. So, that's it for now. Thanks for following along with this. Hopefully you found it interesting.